Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I'm doing another DC Universe Classics figure. Um, this is Deathstroke. I missed out on this guy the first time around, um, but this is the re-release from the All-Star Wave. Um, this guy came packed in with uh, the Bane Wave, so if you guys found any of the Bane figures, you might find these in the stores as well. Uh, very cool. It um, doesn't come with a collect and connect piece, just comes with a figure stand. But uh, awesome. I'm not sure if he comes with all the accessories the original one did or not. Um, but he does come with quite a bit of stuff. Got a little bio there. And his stats. Not a very old character, just from uh, 1980. There's a couple other figures from uh, the All-Stars Wave. Very cool. They re-released the Joker. You can also find him in the, the Bane Wave boxes. It's very awesome. Um, so anyways, let's take a quick break and we'll get him out of the package. Alright guys, and we are back. Um, first off, he comes with the uh, DC Universe stand. It's blue, translucent. So DC Universe at the bottom has one peg. And then a hole on this side, which still to this day I have no idea what that hole is for. But uh, anyways, let's get on to the figure and his many accessories. Like I said, uh, this is the re-release, um, but I'm not sure I didn't have the original release so I'm not sure what all accessories he came with um, but he does have a sword very nice looking cool looking handle there um, and he comes with a sheath that is attached to his belt and um, looks like it can pop off it's just pegged on there um, but one really crappy thing about this sword is See, I've already got some uh, black scuffs on there from trying to shove this thing in there. It doesn't even fit. How stupid is that? <laughs> the sword doesn't even fit in there. I've tried it both ways and I've shoved it in pretty hard, which is why the the silver paint's coming off right there on those corners. So that's pretty stupid. Um, <clears throat> also on the other side, he's got a pistol, which is uh, tabbed into his holster. Black pistol, got a couple little silver dots on there. Pretty basic though. But uh, it's cool that the holster opens up like that. It's got a really nice uh, leather texture to it, if you guys can see that. It's pretty cool. The whole belt itself is pretty awesome looking. Um, he also has a pretty cool looking like assault rifle. But uh, if you can see this, look at this crap. What the hell is this? Really? You make a gun out of like flimsy ass rubber. That's retarded. Come on Mattel. You guys can do better than that. That's stupid. Like most of the gun it's not as flimsy as that but still look. Look at this thing. And that's just cheap. When you make it out of crappy rubber like this it just gets bent. You know, you know how hard it is to straighten this kind of crap out. Look at that. That's horrible. I'd rather have a hard gun that would possibly snap but most likely not if you're not an idiot than just have this rubber thing that gets bent up. Look at it. I can't believe that. That's very disappointing looking at that right now. Um, now aside from crappy quality, <laughs> um, you know, it looks cool. It's black. It's got the nice silver all over it. You know, detail wise, I guess it looks cool. It's got this cool strap that uh, connects on to, it, it connects on that little hook and a little hook in the front, but see those stupid hooks it's a little flimsy ass piece of rubber um somebody with the original uh release of deathstroke let me know if this is uh if it's this crappy rubber or if it's actual decent quality because i would be interested to know if they just kind of cheapened out on this re-release um <clears throat> now he has another uh kind of an ammo belt going around his uh, chest look like it kind of untabs right there so you can take it off um, but it clips on his staff his staff just kind of clips in there which is pretty cool his staffs pretty basic just silver but it's got some nice little grips and stuff on it not too much going on with that um, but let's get on to the figure himself since we're past that crappiness um, detail on him is very nice he's definitely a cool looking character between the black and the orange and everything. It's got this cool, uh, and these are kind of a rubber, these things that go down from his head. 
Uh, the scales are really cool looking. Kind of like some blue, some black. Uh, kind of a metallic. Looks pretty cool. You know, a lot of nice detail. They put all like the silver buckles and little buttons and everything. And the boots are cool. I like the, you know, kind of different look of the boots with the long uh, folds on them. It looks pretty neat. You know, definitely a kick-ass looking figure. Um, I'm just worried that this re-release is kind of a cheaper version. If you look, um, look at the hands. Look how weak-ass plastic that is. That is awful. You know, this is a pre-molded finger. That's not a finger joint I'm moving right there. That's just cheap, weak plastic. I can't believe they're charging us more money and uh, providing us with uh, lower quality stuff. That's that's pretty lame. And uh, if you see like the orange glove onto the orange rest of the glove, does not match at all. That's pretty awful. I don't know, I think overall I'm pretty disappointed with this thing. Um, it's got a bent ass knee, of course, I'm fucking infamous for having bent joints. Uh, it's because that joint right there um, is, if you can see, it's just soft rubber. Again, it's just quality. Um, they don't want to use a quality rubber on there, or plastic. So it's just the soft stuff, and it just bends around. And then they want to package it in the, the blister so it looks cool in a cool action pose. Which makes sense. Makes people want to buy it. But, uh, you know, they package them too tight in there. And the joints just get bent happens every time and uh, quite frankly I'm getting a little irritated with it I've I've had to have had well around a hundred figures with that stupid bent bent knees or whatever I can't believe that uh, they haven't figured that out yet it kind of drives me crazy sorry guys I guess I'm in a little uh, ranting mood today my bad I'm not normally uh, this harsh on figures but uh, I don't know some of the quality on this thing is just really rather irritating um, articulation on this guy you can see he's got a really long neck which is kinda cool um, but he doesn't really have that much movement on his head um, I'm surprised it does move up and down as much as it does but you get a nice swivel side to side and everything um, you do have a nice ball joint shoulder swivel at the upper bicep single jointed elbow swivel at the wrist up and down torso joint not really any waist movement, I think just because of the belt. Um, but you have your standard DC hips, which go in and out, and then back and forward, of course. And then a single jointed knee, and a back and forward pivot in the foot. And it looked like it was supposed to have a side to side pivot, but no, nope, I guess not. And that's it. So, I mean, you know, articulation isn't that bad. It's pretty standard for, for this. Um, but just all the plastic all around, the feet look really cheap, the lines are really odd on him. Um, the orange doesn't match up, even on his crotch compared to his legs, the orange don't match, doesn't match. You know, it's just, I don't know, I feel like um, I really would have to compare to the original release of this to see if they just cheapened out on this guy or not, but, you know, to me it seems like as being a re-release, they know that people wanted this character. So they just pumped them out, not really caring about quality or anything. Like, oh yeah, people will buy Deathstroke. It was a big hot seller, so let's just push them out. You know, that's just my theory on it or whatever, but uh, maybe I just got a bad one. Who knows? Uh, maybe others aren't as bad. But uh, definitely a disappointing figure. Uh, really happy to have him, I guess. Um, he'll look cool on the shelf. I mean, I guess that's all I can ask for. He's just going to sit on the shelf. Not a big deal. He'll look fine, but... You know, when you get down to it, they did a really sloppy job on this guy, and that disappoints me. You know, for the price you pay for these, um, you know, when you're back paying $8 a figure, it's not really a big deal if the quality is not the best, whatever. But if they're going to charge 15 to 20 bucks a piece, uh, retail price, then they're going to have to make sure that they provide some better quality stuff. Um, but, you know, enough ranting, whatever. Um, definitely a cool figure for the collection. He'll look badass. Um, so anyways, that was Deathstroke. Thanks for checking him out.